Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers. I'm Wexdown and this is World 6-1. Which is another Lakitu level. I bounce it that way. Now, anyway, I've been... After mid, I'm not recording all this in one run, like... Um, I'm taking a couple of breaks in between, like, doing world and stuff. Um, and I've actually been going through, like, editing videos and syncing them up and stuff, and I realised there's something I've not really talked about yet, and... It's kind of... I know I do a lot of, like, older games on my channel. Hell, I, a majority of games on my channel are actually older than I am. But there's a reason for this, and it's not, like, some people who are, like... Well, games from way back then are so much better than they are nowadays, because really, I'd say that depends on the game. Yeah, some games are better, but by the same token, some games are worse, and some series have benefited so much from being improved over time, but it's mostly just because I'd like to, like, chronologically go through a series, so I was thinking there's no point in starting in, like, Spyro 3, because that's my favourite Spyro game. So I've gone back and played Spyro 1, which I enjoy, and I'm going to play Spyro 2 at some point, which I also enjoy, but it's just, I want to clear, like, every game in the series, and getting around to it, this is technically not the first Mario game, because it's not the first game that Mario himself appears in. So, technically, I'm not doing it in order, like I have been doing with other series, but... You gotta understand, like, the very first game Mario appeared in was actually Donkey Kong, and that's more of an arcade game than, like, a game game, like, um, it's sort of like, it's just made up of four very short levels, and not even that, in the home releases it's only got three levels, really. So, that game will be over pretty quickly, because it's not especially hard, so... Yeah, it's kind of why I didn't start off with Donkey Kong, and then after that there's also Mario Brothers, which... I'm not sure which came first, Mario Brothers or the second Donkey Kong game, which Mario also appears in, and I'm not taking that vine up, but... Yeah, he appeared in both of them, so I'm not sure which order it came in, but I'm going to talk about them anyway, and... I'm not going to do Mario Brothers, because again, that's an arcade release, and... It's not a, it's a better game to do than Donkey Kong in my opinion, but even so, it'd be a game that's over pretty quickly since you, it's a pretty repetitive game. Because all it is is basically the same level over and over again, but just with increasing difficulty. And if anything, I'd mostly be doing the two-player mode on it, because that's the more entertaining mode on it in my opinion, so... Yeah, you might have to wait a while for that one as well, since I wouldn't do it first, and Donkey Kong 2? Technically Mario's the bad guy in that, so... Yeah, you wouldn't be seeing that on the channel for a Mario series. I'm thinking at one point of doing the um, games that really... Like, uh, Donkey Kong games that released for the NES, just in one package, because they're so short on their own, so I was thinking about doing, like, the Donkey Kong NES trilogy, as it were. I know technically there were four games, but one of them was a educational game. And in my opinion, educational games are kind of bad. So, in fact, I think that's most people's opinion of them, that educational games kind of suck. So, yeah, unfortunately for all you big Donkey Kong Junior Math fans, I'm not going to be doing that game. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of why I chose Super Mario Bros. as the first Mario game to LP, because it's like the first one that feels like a game. Because the other two are just arcade releases, they're just games where you go through the same levels over and over again, and then maybe enemies get faster, level by level, but... I don't know, and it just gets kind of boring after a little bit, so... Yeah, it's why I'm not tackling that one. Uh, but yeah, this is, and this is base, and I know I'm probably forgetting quite a few Game & Watch games, and Mario's probably made cameos in other games, but this is like the first big Mario platformer. So, as the first big Mario platformer, I think it kind of deserves to be played 
about this, because this is sort of the style of gameplay that Mario is known for, not for climbing up girders and saving his girlfriend from Donkey Kong. He's still saving his girlfriend, which changed between Donkey Kong and Super Mario Bros. for whatever reason. I mean, for some reason Pauline couldn't have been a princess, she just had to be one, then when a princess showed up, Mario just went for her. just odd. I mean, there, there is a, there's actually been a few character changes for Mario. I mean, he, his first appearance, it wasn't just like he was going for Pauline rather than Peach. He was also a carpenter. And also Donkey Kong was his pet. Which is a little bit weird. Especially when further down the line in like the Yoshi Island series, um, it was revealed that Mario was actually a baby at the at the same time as Donkey Kong, but then you also have to take into account that uh, that Donkey Kong isn't the Donkey Kong from the arcade game, because Donkey Kong in the arcade game became known as Cranky Kong in the Donkey Kong series, and I died. Well, guess where I'm level grinding up to. So, made it all the way back here again. Anyway, I, w I believe I was talking about like the Mario Donkey Kong timeline thing, and my god it's starting to sound more confusing than the Zelda timeline. But anyway, yeah, so according to Yoshi or Yoshi's Island DS, Mario and Donkey Kong were babies together. And then when Mario grew up, he became a carpenter in the game Donkey Kong, and had Donkey Kong, who's actually known as Cranky Kong now, as a pet. Then Donkey Kong slash Cranky Kong kidnapped Mario's girlfriend because apparently he was an abusive pet owner. Yes, the game did actually say... Yes, something about the game did actually say that. And now Cooper's... Fr now King Cooper slash Bowser's thrown cameras at us, but... I just want to finish this off before I finish the stage, but... And then in the second game, Donkey Kong Jr., who was the Donkey Kong that Mario was a baby with, like, took on Mario. So, I don't know, the Donkey Kong and Mario series had a weird relationship, and then, like, the Donkey Kong Jr. that was featured in some of the Mario spin-offs is actually Donkey Kong that was babies with, that like, took on Mario, and then later became Donkey Kong himself, and Donkey... and... Previous Donkey Kong became Cranky Kong. It got all weird and confusing. Anyway, I'm gonna have to try timing my jumps very carefully with the hammer throwing stuff because it's a lot of it. Hammer Brothers. It's sort of awkward to judge when to go. So like then, and the hammer sprites are kind of weird. They kind of look like mini half bullet bills on sticks. At least what that's what I see when I look at the hammers. My question is, do I want the Super Mushroom or will it make me too big to dodge the fire stick? There you go, at least I can try taking a hit. I guess. It might be kind of cheap, but I might have to beat Hammer Bowser by just taking a hit and running through him to grab the axe. Or not. Or I might just get hit by his fire. That's fine too. That works. So then back to the level. Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on. It, I, I did the same jump as before. I'm blaming the game on that one. I was doing the same exact jumping and control stuff as I was doing before. Again! I totally moved to the left that time. That's my last chance again, so I might have to actually run through the entire game to get back here again. I'm right, being a bit more cautious this time. Oh. Right, seriously, I think I might just be a bit cheap and just take the hit, go through the boss on invincibility frames. at this rate I'm not going to beat him normally. 
I'm just lucky to be dodging underneath all this fire that he's throwing. Right. So, the hammers just go at the perfect arc to hit you as you jump over. It's really annoying. But anyway, we've saved yet another toad, or as we're called back then, mushroom retainer, for whatever reason. And now we're going on to World 7-1. I'll see you then.